I'm gonna love you What up guys, it's that diabetic guy Vaughn and I want to show you guys how to do the uh, the most basic honeycomb build that you can do just so you can kind of grasp the concept and uh, in later episodes I'm going to show you guys how to kind of expand and grow that into more of a structured honeycomb build that will make it very very difficult for um, anyone to kind of raid you and if they do actually manage to raid you um, make it very hard and take a lot of time and resources so uh, let's go ahead let's jump on into this video and uh, show you guys what you got to do here So this is your inner layer. This is where you're gonna put all your stuff, your your forges, storage boxes, smithies, all your your main stuff is going on this inside layer here. This is gonna be your outside layer. This is the honeycomb layer. This is a layer used just for defense. It's just so that the uh, enemies, when they attack, they're not blowing in straight to where you have all of your goodies. This is an extra layer that is just there as a safeguard to waste more enemy resources and slow them down making it a little bit harder in order for them to raid you. Okay, now as you can see, we have the inside layer and we have the outside layer. The inside again, that is where we're putting all of our items that we want to keep safe. Outside layer, that's what we're using just as a defense tactic. So we now need to enclose the roof off on the inside and the outside layer so that we can go ahead and now proceed to build a honeycomb layer on the top of our base, just as we've done on the perimeter. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you're going to want to put a trapdoor in so that if someone does break in from the top layer, they will typically, most people see a door, that's what they're going to go for first. And if they do and then they blow into that, they are going to go ahead and land in the outside portion of your honeycomb on the bottom layer, which now means that they're going to have to blow through another door just to get in and another door just to get back out. Also, I would advise you to use a wooden ladder, not a metal ladder like I did there, because if they do blow through it, it will break the ladder, and when they go down, they will be stuck, so they're forced to blow through the outside door in order to get back out of your base. <laughs> 